Hello guys, this is Justin McGullen and welcome back to this channel. The next speech that I will be included in this channel is, is, is the first of the two persuasive speeches that I did in the Public Speak in 106 class. You, you may be wondering why you see, you see me here right now and not seeing the video from before. Well that, well, that is because the first persuasive speech for the Public Speak in 106 class was act was actually not recorded, so 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 that's why you see me here right now. So, so for that, I will I will read you the pub uh, the first persuasive speech that I did in the public in a public speaking 106 class right now today. So 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 for this persuasive speech, it basically talking about my response to all the violence that happened after the election of 2016 which spoiler alert, but not really Trump won that ele election and this speech was, was what was what I said in order to to stop the violence and stop the fighting and in and in this speech I, I, I you may notice that I would that I used the Monroe's motivated sequence in that speech if you if you know what the Monroe's motivated motivated sequence is, you understand you you understand why I mentioned the word a, a certain word after after I said a sentence. So with that with that out of the way, here here is my first persuasive speech for the public speaking 106 class. <clears throat> This year is almost over, which means goodbye Obama, hello Trump. Everyone has been killing, hurting, and blaming one another ever since the election ended. I want to persuade you all to stop fighting and move on. Attention. This nation has never been divided since the Civil War, and that was because of slavery, which was reasonable. Now this nation is divided because of the election, and that is stupid. Lincoln said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Uh, in my words, I believe this government cannot endure permanently half Clinton and half Trump, or half Democrat and half Republican. Need. Maybe Trump won't be so bad. He'll give us our job backs. Let's hope so. He'll lower our taxes. Let's hope so. He'll make America great again. Let's hope so. Satisfaction. Want America great again? Stop fighting. Trump's bad, but at least he's not Hitler, Hussein, Bin Laden, or any of those bad, dangerous people. I've seen enough of one civil war, and I do not wish to see another. This fight settles nothing. Visualization. Please, stop fighting. This is the United States of America, and as that nation, we must work together, no matter the challenges we will face. Action. And and that is it. That 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 is my first persuasive speech for the public speaking 106 class. I'm I'm am sorry you didn't get the footage of of me actually doing the speech in 2016, but. But, but at least I've found a way to make uh, to make up for that. Now, as you can tell from from my speech, it, it uh, let's just say it backfired. It fell apart. Like it's like uh, I meant I mentioned that uh, Trump's bad, but he's not that bad. Well, so much for that. Uh, it it's it's. I mean, like, as the years pass, like, he just got worse and worse. We're up at the point where we have this lot of protests, we have, we have a pandemic that we want to end quickly, and statues are taken down, and all of that. Like, it's just not a good place to be right now. I mean, like, I mean, like, things have gotten worse and worse when Trump got in office. So basically, after looking at that speech, you can say, it's, it's like you, it's like a, everything I said was basically wrong. But there's one thing I was right. I'm right about. We need to stop. We really need to stop fighting. I mean, like we have a right to have political views. We have a right to believe what we believe. 
uh, like, like, if you want to disagree, if you want to disagree with each other, that's fine. But do not fight or kill each other. Like, violence doesn't solve anything. What does is negotiation, reform, compromise, and diplomacy. Those are the things that solves our problems. Like, no violence. You, that's, that's not how America works. I mean, like, like, we disagree on one thing, and if you disagree about it, we put it to a vote, and if you're not satisfied with the results, we'll make um, a compromise. That's the right way, that's wh what we're taught to do. Not by killing each other, insulting one another, and, and killing each other. Like, uh, and we don't want any of that. Like, it needs to stop. And it needs to stop now. And as you all know, the, the, this was taking place at an election day, an election day, and our last election day. Now it's 2020, and we have another election. Since we've, we're on the topic of election day, I advise you all to pl when election day comes along to please, please vote for Joe Biden, like. Joe Biden really needs to, needs to win in this election. I mean, like, like he's he's able to do more things than, than than Trump has done, and he's the kind and he's the kind of dude that that can make promises he can't keep, and and even and even for his fault, he 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 unlike Trump is is is, a, is able to admit. That wants that that the things he's done is wrong, and he'll apologize for it and try to do better, because we all obviously know Trump's none of those things. Like, like whenever whenever it's his fault, he blames others, and he doesn't and he doesn't admit that what he did is wrong and all that. That's not who should be running this nation. We need we need a guy we need a guy that can help the people that can help this nation, and to help us feel. That we matter, so please, uh, please, please si si sign up for voting online, and please vote for Biden. We uh, uh, we need to stop the violence that's going on in America, and 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 we need, and we and we need to make things better here, and voting for Biden is another way, and and another way is to have if you haven't done so already. Please, please, please take the census. Um, it, 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 can, it can help us for our education, our housing, our jobs, and all of that for the next 10 years. Last time I looked, uh, looked on the results a couple of days ago, New York is, is 36th place out of all the states in taking the census. We, we really need to pu push it up. We need to do more of that. We have we have one month left to get it done, so please, please, uh, if please get that done if you haven't done so already, and please spread the word about the census. They are really important, and and it'll be great to have all of us play a part in this nation. So with that said, make sure you check here to see the playlist of all the events done for the CUNY Census Corps. And check on th this video to show to show my la my last speech that that I did the second informative speech I did for a public speaking class. Make sure you both check both of those out and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much and remember, use your senses, take the senses. Thank you and God bless America.